Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the prepend method within JavaScript. Okay, so this method right here allows you to insert multiple nodes um, before the first child of a parent node. Okay, so in most cases when I refer to nodes, I'm talking about HTML elements. Okay, so it's going to be a lot easier to explain with an example. So as we can see right here, I've got this, uh, I've got this text which says of course, hey, how's it going? So inside the text editor in the source code, we can see that um, this is actually contained within a div with an ID of container. So right here, we have a parent node and we have a child node. Of course, in this case, um, the parent node refers to uh, this div right here. And the child node is the span because of course HTML elements um, such as these two are a type of node. Okay, so what the prepend method does is it's going to allow you to insert some more nodes just up here before um, the first child element. So let's go inside uh, the JavaScript down here and firstly uh, let's create a few elements to actually insert before the first one. So let's add a sorry, let's let's add a strong tag to this container. So let's firstly make a new constant called strong equal to document.create element and pass through here strong. Then we can say, you know, strong.text content is equal to let's just say strong. So we can actually see uh, changes visually. And now we can use the prepend method just down here and we can say container.prepend and pass through here the strong. Now I'm not too sure if I forgot to mention that I've got a reference to the container. So of course this one right here just refers to this container. So I'm calling the prepend method on the parent node container and I'm passing through here our child which we're going to be prepending. Okay, so now saving this and refreshing, we can see we get the strong right there before the first child node. And that's basically how it works. Um, the main advantage of this method is you're able to pass through multiple. So for example, let's go back inside here and make a new element. This one, let's make it an emphasized text. Okay, so I'll make this down here, m.textContent equal to em. Okay, and then just down here, we're going to pass through as a second argument basically just em. So now we're going to be, sorry, we're going to see both of these appended or sorry, prepended to the container. Let's save this and refresh. And now we can see we get the em just like that right after the strong. So we can see um, the order in which it adds the elements is essentially your first one goes before um, and then your second one goes after that. Okay. Now, like I said earlier, uh, this is to uh, this is to prepend or add nodes. So of course, an element is a type of node. So we can also create text nodes to add some text. So for example, I can say const. Let's just say tn, short for text node, equal to document dot create text node, and pass through here. For example, decode. Okay. I can then just pass through here tn as my uh, as my third argument. So now saving this and refreshing, we, uh, we should see decode right there um, as a regular text node. And as we can see, we get this right here when we inspect uh, inside um, the element section right there. Okay, so now another huge benefit of this uh, of this method and probably one of the more useful features is you're able to pass in text without having to um, create a text node manually. So we can actually replace this line right here with simply putting decode just like that. So now behind the scenes, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, creating a text node. And of course, it's going to be um, doing the exact same thing. So now saving this and refreshing, uh, we can see we get the exact same result. And of course, you can uh, keep on doing this. We can say, for example, let's just say phone. Okay, save this and refresh and it's going to give us the exact same result. So that is basically how to use the prepend method within JavaScript. Um, uh, it works in a very similar way, um, if not the exact same way, with a minor difference of uh, the position or placement um, compared to the append method. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.